Oh, so all very good and well to say, but we have to place our test on some waste of time without more information first. What? Don't panic. I'm a friend. Well, friends shouldn't scare other friends. What's this all about? Can you go into the shower and close the door? This is a strictly off-the-record conversation. Okay, I'm in. What's happening here? Okay, okay. Listen. We need a man we can trust. Who is we? Oh, right. Yeah, the Light Keepers. What? The Light Keepers? Uh, yeah, that's us. Whoa. So, how many of you are there? Well, it's just me in here. But, I mean, there are lots of Light Keepers. We are Legion. I'm one of them. An important one. Wow. So, how do you know you can trust me? I mean, you can. But, how did you know that... I guess you have eyes and ears everywhere. Secret informants and... and... Yeah, all of that stuff. You can recommend it by a secret source. Right. Wow. Okay. So, what do you need? What we need is proof. All water are planning something. We know it. We just can't prove it yet. Yes. How can I get proof? I am not very actually a uh, detective. Actually? When? Oh, just listen. The shaft above here leads to the CEO's office. But we know there's going to be an important meeting happening there shortly. Ah, uh, yes, that shaft is freezing, thanks to Slippy's new and improved AC. We know, but we planned around it. First, you'll need to procure a small camera. Our intel has narrowed the location of one down to Moreau's lab. You'll need to distract her, steal the camera, and make it back to us undetected. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Good. Time is of the essence. Meet me back here as soon as you have the goods. Will do. How do you know about the meeting, by the way? A network of hidden informants? Ah, uh, no. We just snooped in the CEO's diary during one of our open-door policy days. Oh, okay. I suppose I'd better get to it. Godspeed, Slippery Fish. Wow, I get a call name? Yes, and good luck. Looking for something, Harold? Uh, um, uh, I am looking for the, you know, the little video camera. Ah, yes. The Pentasonic Mark II. If you say so. Have you seen it? Of course I have. What you mean is, do I know where it is now? Yes. Do you? No. Ah. I really need a professor. I'm too busy to help you rummage around. Anyway. Didn't you have it last? Oh, did I? I'll check in my room. I'm sure it's not in there, though. All models are false, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. A waste of time!
Let's take a better look at this doodad. Oh, the camera. Excellent. The variable energy diffusal, yes, yes, I know. No, then why can't we model it first? Okay, here you go. Let's see. A few quick modifications. Uh, what's all this? Model cam. Huh? What's it going to do? Mobile secret reconnaissance, of course. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to miss anything important. Okay, so what should I do with it? Start by placing it in the shaft. Then you'll need to use the remote controls to navigate it to the CEO's office. Then you'll need to find a good view to record it all from. Drive it back out of the shaft and into our welcoming arms, all in the name of truth. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. You don't want to drive? Uh, uh, I would, but uh, I'm not so good with remote spatial awareness, and, you know, someone like you has experience with control panels. Oh, well, if you're sure. Right, oh, Motocam. Let's take you for a drive. Okay, Madam CEO, I'll be going now. Yes, I believe you shall. Godspeed, Slipmire. Godspeed. Yes. Is that Dr. Computer? What? It's me, Castle Chop. The password. Oh, for goodness sake, must I? Okay, fine. It's Kutsu Hung Shiny Prize. I'm just calling in to say you may commence stage D as discussed. Do you have everything you need? Very well. Keep me in the loop. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Goodbye, Doctor, and don't let me or the fedora down. Righto. 8, R, 3, M, N, 4. Open. Oh, hello, my lovelies. Listen to your beautiful purring. So nearly a perfect harmony, but just missing that one last voice. I'll find you one eventually, wherever you are. Oh, wow. Oh, gee. What can you see? Don't shut me out here. Tell you later. You gotta get to the lab. Slippery fish, wait, what about the mission? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, what did you see? Professor, Sai, 
Oh, hey, Harold. What's got you more jumpy than a caffeinated frog, hmm? Wait till you see this. I'll just get it hooked up. Okay, I'm waiting. Phase D? Dr. Computer? This opens a whole box of questions. Yeah, if you ask me, it's more of a parcel of intrigue. I wasn't and won't be asking you. Anyway, only one thing is for certain in all this mess. We must continue with the alternative start sequence post-haste. How on Fedora did you get this, Harold? It's a long story, but it all started when I... I'm sure you were very heroic, but it can wait. We've got to act fast. And we should be careful who we trust. Quite so. In fact, Cyrus, I think you should continue your work in the small room downstairs. It's out of sight and should have what you need. Okay. The really small one? Don't whine. Anyway, I have to see Bridget to tell her about all of this. Harold, can you take the box of computer stuff downstairs for Cyrus? We'll do. Great. Okay, everyone, let's get on with it. equals x minus one. What about... But that would change the square of... Um, Psy? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hmm. I've got this box of computer stuff for you. Oh. Uh, thanks, Harold. Uh, just put it on the table. Sure you don't need me to stick my screwdriver in anything? Hmm? What? No, no, I think it's fine. I was just... Remember when... Anyway, what are you working on? Well, this place isn't exactly my usual setup. I need to expand the filter station control system with these parts. Then I can run the tests I need and access the thrusters. Drat, this is going to be tricky. Different gens of Servotech. The old Fedora firewall's blocking me out so that the connections might not talk properly to each other. Oh no, that'd be lonely. Yeah. Reckon you could go ask Rafi if they can help open a few ports and maybe disable the firewall? I've not a moment to lose. Sure. What should I tell them? Uh, just that I need their system protocol expertise. Appeal to their vanity? Can do. Back soon. Exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Have you got any more gastro tips for me? Oh, have you checked out the Dolce de Leche empanadas that Dutchies? The filling is made from diced banana and yerba mate infused butterscotch. It's so sweet, you'll dream of rainbows for a week, but it's totally worth it. Tommy, hey. What's up, Harold? Not much. What's up with you? Not much. 
Just running a business, trying to be a good husband and a good father, keeping myself in shape, tidying the store, helping Felix with his homework. You know, not much. That sounds like much. What, that? That's an easy day, pal. I'm basically on holiday when it's just that much. Strange holiday, but I'm glad you're feeling relaxed. So come on, what's on your mind? It's... I was just thinking about those presentations. It all seemed a bit odd and not very reassuring, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you one thing. Slippy might have confidence to spare, but if I know Bridget, she'll have a thing or two to say about the energy output needed for such a big freeze. Either way, it's worrisome. Enough for a drink, I think. What are you having? Yeah, I know what you mean. Care to join me? Uh, tempting. Thanks, but I had better be going. Rafi? What is it now? Cyrus needs help with some pretty important research. So I came to ask, is there any chance you could help disable a firewall for him? It's stopping him from accessing the systems he needs. For the research. Could you be any less specific? Uh, no, but... Of course. I know what you mean anyway. Oh, how... I mean, great. So you'll help? Afraid not. Any system Cyrus is struggling to access is old. That stuff isn't my responsibility anymore. I know, but it'd be a huge favor. Plus, messing with that might have knock-on effects. Might even mess with my cabinets here. Oh, I see. Well, um, any tips for doing it ourselves? Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh, I'll suggest it. Thanks anyway, Rafi. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Bird. Hang on. That's Zoya's bird. Good shot. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Now, do you have any idea what this feathery menace is doing here? He could have damaged all sorts of sensitive equipment. <sighs> yeah, I think I might have an idea. I'll deliver her back to her rightful owner. Okay, if you say so. Just see that she doesn't get loose in here again. Captain at Large Zoya? Hello again. Uh, Coco! Yeah, I found her in the lab. She seemed very excited about something. Is she okay? Yep, I think so. Moreau had to help me catch her, hence the net. Ah, oh, Coco, you mischievous little thing, you. Causing your captain to worry and making trouble for everyone. Don't ever change. Well, I'm glad you're back together. Thank you, Harold. If you ever want to come and visit, 
Please, feel free. You should see her peeling a nut. It's hilarious. And the way she dances when I put music on. Thanks, Soya. I might pop by another time. See you, Coco. Welcome. I am all water automated. Illuminated the many innovations we now rely upon. In twelve thousand seven. Bye. The all water corporate. Mr. Secretary, hello. Mr. Halibut. Thank you for traveling with all water. Traveling with all water. You're welcome. Hey, Sai. Bad news. Rafi couldn't help. G good news. I got it working. How? Uh, yeah, typical, right after you left. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to message you. I got distracted verifying part one of my double checklist uh, by testing the velocity of a plant stock in a variety of energetic states while varying the atmospheric pressure? Harold? Mm hmm. Yes? Well, uh, thanks for asking him, though. But that's okay. Good luck with the rest of the checklist. Yes, I'll get back to it.
Hey there, Tommy. Ah, oh, Harold, you came. Sit down, let me get you a drink. Thanks, Tommy. I'll have whatever you're having. A man of fine taste. So, how's life? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Definitely just the same as always. Okay, then. So, hey, I wanted to say about that blue rock. Ah, it wasn't your fault, Tommy. I know, I know, but boy, did I feel like I had egg on my face. Those darn light keepers, eh? Always messing about in other people's business. Yeah, but I don't think they're so bad. I'm sorry they smashed your window, but they seem to have good stuff in mind. Well, you've got good stuff at heart, and you didn't need to break my window. But hey, what do I know? How is the shop going? Ah, uh, just fine. The sign has given things a bit of a boost, but new stock has been a bit slow. I'd love to scale back the time I spend there a bit, you know? Spend more time with Bridget, especially now she's working so much again. Yeah, it must be hard. Life has definitely become more busy recently. You got that right. It's good to have someone to talk to. Someone who doesn't mind my grouching. No way do I mind, Tommy. Grouch all you want. Thanks, Harold. I'll get back to grouching soon, but hey, how about you? Those filters keeping you on your toes? The filters? Why? Have you seen something? What? No, no reason at all. I got no special interest in the filters. Just making conversation. I haven't heard from Filter Frankie in a while. Guess he's taking it easy. Oh, sorry. Well, the filters are also totally normal, just like always. Okay, good. Well, here's to the filters, eh? Long may they remain at optimal capacity. Cheers. Cheers. So, come on. You must have something you want to grouch about. Well, sure, but I try not to, you know, focus on it. Come on, come on, it's your turn. Don't make me do all the grumbling. Okay. Well, the tube tickets are pretty annoying. The rules change faster than I can keep up. I swear they do it just to confuse you into making mistakes so they can fine you. And it's not like they work all the time anyway. So what are you paying for? I just wish it was easier to get around, you know, without worrying all the time. I think I should get back home. Okay, Harold. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for sharing a few drinks with this old grumbler. Get home safe. What's up, Fishy? Long time no see, huh? Hope you're having fun, Fishy Dreams. <gasps> did I just... Did I hear you just wheel? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. God, of course they don't understand me. What can I use? A pineapple! A pineapple? Uh, no. What else? Don't panic or die. Please. Just wait. Come on, Harold, think. What's on these papers? Ah, just Burroughs' notes. Nothing I can use. Harold, what are you dithering over? Awake! He said, we you. What? They're awake and attempt to communicate? Yes, I'm trying to tell them what's going on, but... 
they seem to have fainted again. Harold, you said they said Wii U. Anything else? And some skis, skis, pineapple, notes. Professor, I've got it. Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Harold, are you feeling okay? Maybe it's something contagious after all. No, Moreau, I could use a picture book to talk to Wii U. I mean, communicate with Fishy. I'm sure Chris will have some at the school. Hmm, not a bad idea at all, Harold. I'll fetch some recording equipment too, in the meantime. We're going to need plenty of samples if we're to decipher an alien tongue. What? You can't take their tongue? You klutz. I mean their language. Okay, but what if they wake up again? Life signs are stable, and I don't think they're going anywhere quite yet. Go on, go! Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Oh, Harold, what brings you here? Chris, I need some pictures. Uh of anything in particular? And you do know I'm not an art teacher. I just need a book. Uh, a kid's book, like Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Well, I'm glad you asked, Harold, but maybe you should be challenging yourself a bit. Ah, uh, yes, I will. But I just need to relax. Please, Chris. Hmm. Okay, Harold. I'll bring you one later tonight when I'm done. Ah, uh, no, I really need it now. Harold, uh, are you okay? You seem so stressed. Maybe you do really need a nice book. Okay, I'll get you one now. But you'll have to watch the Bambinos while I'm gone, okay? Yes, sure. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay, Harold? No, uh, whatever happens while I'm gone, just don't... Let them under your skin. Okay, Harold, mustache. Don't let them bully you. Uh, Chris, what? Uh, wait. Ciao, Harold. Ciao, bambinos. Don't cause them any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, kids. Are you a teacher? Where's Mr. Tinnabob God? No, I don't know. I'm just doing Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnabaum, a favor. I have a question. I'm probably not qualified, but I'll do my best. Where do babies come from, Mr. Harold? Uh, just Harold is fine. And, um, they come from two people. Then who are my parents? What? No, I don't mean the two people disappear. They become your parents. So it could be any two people? I think it's like, uh, two people grow you, and they give you to whoever's assigned to be parents? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, the growing part, not, not the- When will I grow up, Mr. Harold? Felix, you'll grow up soon, but don't rush it. I, I mean, enjoy your youth while you- Why aren't you a teacher? Oh, uh, for many reasons, but mainly because- Why does flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? If you're not a teacher, you're a stranger, and I've always been told not to talk to strangers. Is today's lesson going to pick up from Cartesian dualism or move straight into Neoplatonism? Everyone, please slow down. Okay, now, who wants to learn about filter maintenance? 
There you go, Harold. Thanks for holding down the fort. Thank you. This will do great. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. No. No trouble at all. Great. Everyone say ciao to Mr. Halibut. Ciao, ciao Mr. Mr. Halibut. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Hello? Ah, they've gone back to sleep. Okay. Just stay calm, Harold. Radiate calm. Show them the book. Show them you're friendly. Start teaching an alien how to speak my language. Fishy? Wake up. I'm back. Wake up. Professor, I'm sure I'm starting to understand. No need. The translation device is ready. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Does it work instantly? Will they understand exactly what I'm saying now? Oh. I can understand you. <gasps> I can understand you! Oh. So where am I? Good gosh, I'm glad you're okay. What are you? Oh, you're on board the Fedora? It's a ship. We're from Earth? Well, the ship is. Oh, sorry. Um, what's a ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're humans. Well, I see you're getting along just fine together. I've got some things I need to take care of urgently. I'll leave you two to it until I'm back. Play nice. I have so many questions. 